so welcome welcome back to Spoon TV we are live here at uh, Zoom 5 in in Pinsville City where the Liberia National Police here in Panda a truck full of rice and uh, according to the the, the, the the operators of the truck said they were going to sell the rice out of uh, mozzarella so they were told to sell the rice here so they are now selling the rice here Liberians has come from all over the country to get this one a bag of rice they have come to buy to just get a bag of rice. They have come to just get a bag of rice. Let them go, let So. There's a serious struggle here for the rice. They have formed long queues at the police station. So the money is available. They have the money, but they cannot get the rice. They cannot get the rice. So they have come to get rice. Each person is entitled to purchase a bag of rice. You cannot purchase more than two, three bag of rice. Very. So the struggle for rice continues. Liberians are struggling to get that stable food here. They are struggling to get back of rice. Get in is quite difficult for them. It's quite difficult. So 
lower lows, the quantity of rice, the people have gathered all over to just get a bag of rice. Every one of them is struggling to get on this land. So you see, this is the struggle of Christ. Just move and fuck. who are gathered to just get a bag of rice to just get a bag of rice the number of people who have come um, is getting high here in Pinsville City the situation of the Liberian stable food getting difficult for the people Struggle continues, it's getting high. This is the police station here in Pinsil, Zumfa. I'm struggling to get a back on us. So the Liberia National Police is uh, trying to provide maximum security for the business people, including the citizens here. The crowd has gathered as you can watch from distance. This is it. have women and children, pregnant women and children, men, they have come to just get a bag of rice for their family, they and the family, and uh, as you may know, the governor of Liberia just issued a statement that in a couple of days, rice will be available on the Liberian market and there have been issues with uh, delay of vessel restrictions at the free port of Monrovia and the issue about the rice importers complaining that they have not received that subsidy for a while now. So all this led to this situation today. Liberians are yearning and crying to just get a bag of rice. They are crying. They have got it. You have to purchase a single buy. You have to purchase a single buy. You have to purchase just one bag for you and your family. You and your family. 
the line is increasing, the queue is getting longer, it's extending in the community, the queue is getting longer, longer. Extending into the community. Parents are crying. Managing to get the get just a bag of rice for themselves on the local market. A cup of rice is currently sold for about two hundred. Dollars, like green dollars, 200, like green dollars in some quarters. Why in others? It is sold for 150, like green dollars. It is believed that people are now purchasing rice for about 6,000, like green dollars. So, because this is where you have to come to get in to purchase your rights. Representative from the Ministry of Commerce is here. Representative from the Ministry of Commerce is here. The Liberia National Police they are here to get just a bag of rice is it's, it's a difficult tax for the people of Liberia.
of course, it has been sold to uh, the Liberian people. This rice, like we said, was in makeshift uh, uh, buildings. Uh, some of it was taken from zinc shacks. It was confiscated, and it is now being sold uh, uh, at the place at the, at the place the rice was uh, before it was confiscated uh, by the police. After they got information or tip off, they were selling each bag for thirty U.S. dollars. Each bag of rice was being sold for thirty dollars. So commerce inspectors and the police moved in, and of course seized the rice and put it on trucks and it was brought here. So it's now been sold to the public for 2,250 Liberian dollar. According to the Deputy Minister for Commerce, uh, Wilfred Bangura, uh, the proceeds after the selling of the rice will be given to the owners of the rice. But then the, the minister will also be fining them for holding the product and selling it at an exorbitant price. So as you can see here now, this is what is exactly happening. This is Spoon TV you're watching. is increasing by the day so just imagine the quantity in there with the number of people outside here just see how it is and the number is increasing here in the, uh, the Joba market where Liberians have gathered to just buy a bag of rice you just get a bag of rice seen here at the Zofa police station. Women and children. This is what's happening. Just to get a bag of rice. Just to purchase a bag of rice. 
Yeah, Liberians.
so the guys are making their way to make sure they get just a bag of rice. So you believe that you get a bag of rice here? Four days. Wow. So you are happy to so just watch it. So you listening to listening to the story of people who have not eating their stable food in days. The Liberia National Police has to send in back up the Liberia National Police wherever you find yourself, however you are watching Spoon TV, there's a need that you send in back up at the Zufa police station, the night is falling, the, the day getting darker, the time is running by, the rice quantity reducing in the hall, the crowd increasing, the number of people outside here increasing, the rice in the hall, the quantity is reducing. is increasing the, the crowd the number of people here are increasing the Liberia National Police the need for backup cannot be over the emphasis here do not let this slip before you come in before you come in So wherever you find yourself watching Spoon TV, my name is Strokon Flama. I'm here with my colleague Aaron Kuba and Trojan Kezulu. We are on this. We are on this. How? How?
So the people are still crying. The sun is so disheartening. The Liberia National Police, wherever you find yourself watching this live feed, there's a need for backup here. The situation is getting tense. The situation is getting tense here outside. The crowd increasing. The number of people getting plenty outside here. And it's a majestic or whim. The, 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 the police here, the number of officers here, we are quite afraid of what's happening. What's going to be happening here? For? Algerians are crying for their stable food. They are crying. Struggling to get a bag of rice at the same time, threatening, threatening not to vote for the CDC. situation here getting out of hand. The situation getting out of hand. The situation getting out of hand. Demons are struggling for hours. They are being in a very long queue. Very long queues. They are coming in. What are the quantity of rice here? So no, it is a very side, 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 side uh, movement for the country, for its people. And uh, this is the struggle for rice. 
This uh, reminds me about the gold rush in the 1900s when people were rushing to gold mines. Today, rest is like a gold. It's like a gold for the people of Liberia. We're trying to just get a piece of gold. This is what's happening now in Pinsville. This is what's going on in Pinsville. This is what's happening in Pinsville. This is what's happening. The queue is extending in a community. Where they are in the community, where in the community, far away. So this is what's happening here. The hustle and bustles, the struggle continues for rights. The struggle continues here. Rights and deviants are trying to get a bag.
wherever you're watching from, we have come to you live from Pinsville, Zufa Police Station. Yeah. Zufa Police Station in Pinsville. Around the Joe Bob Market where the situation here for rights is getting tense. The Liberia National Police, there's a need for backup. There's a need for backup here. The situation getting tense. The quantity of rice in the place is reducing drastically. It's just infinitesimal or small to serve the number of people outside. The crowd spread across the facility of the Liberian National Police. To contain the crowd is an issue for them. Liberians are crying. Women and children have come to just get a bike or rice for their and their family. The quantity is reducing, the crowd is increasing. The police, the number of police officers here are reducing. There's a need for backup, the need cannot be overly emphasized. So wherever you find yourself watching from an image, Jokon Flaman here with my colleague, Trojan Kiazulu, Aaron Kuban, we are on this broadcast. Very tough, hard situation here. Very unbelievable that this situation could escalate to this point. So it's getting hard. It's the situation. The situation is just getting out of hand. The situation is getting out of hand gradually. The situation is getting out of hand. It's just uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. They are even threatening not to vote for the CDC comes 2023. They are begging just to get a bag of rice. Just to get a bag of rice. They are begging to get that. Just to have a bag of rice for they and their family. getting longer than ever. The queue is getting longer than ever.
I buy the situation. The situation is just. to get a bag of rice here, get it high. The struggle of rice continues, the struggle for the Liberian stable food.
get the Liberian stable food is hard, quite difficult. It is an unbelievable situation. There's a need for backup. We try to get through the crowd. We try to get through the crowd. We try to find our way through the crowd to see what we can bring to you. So, the situation here getting very tense. The situation here getting very tense. Okay, very tense to my colleague uh, Choco Flama, who has been uh, behind the camera here. My name is Aaron Kuban. We are still here at the Doba Bindu uh, airport where the Labuan National Police confiscated two trucks load of rice uh, amidst the scarcity of rice. Those two trucks were brought here and the police, the, 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 those who bought the rice, were, they all negotiated for the rice to be sold to these people. But now what you see here, the people that have come here, they are many, and they are struggling their way into this police depot. The tension is very high here. As you hear, they are shouting, we want rest, we want rest, we want rest. You hear them shouting, we want rest, we want rest. Because the tension is very hard. The tension is very hard. The people are all loud. People are in the queues here, and the situation is very tense. Very tense situation here. Uh, my colleague Tokyo Flama is uh, stay here. We are here. We've been here since this afternoon, and we stay here bringing you live courage. This is Spoon TV. Keep following. For those of you who always follow the Spoon Talk, follow tonight. You get detail of all of the development surrounding this rest issue. The detail will be up for you. Keep following. You see, there are. There are hundreds of people here. As you look on the far left hand side, that they are line, that line is as far as the, the, the plum tree that you're looking at there. And the little line on this side. But the thing that is going on, they are no longer being regulated by the land. These people are struggling themselves. They are stopping themselves into this police station. And if the Labrador National Police, if the government cannot do something to send back up here, to make sure that they can regulate this place, it means that we will have chaos in this place. It's something very serious. Now, yes, hundreds of people all queue up here, and uh, this is the entrance of the police station. Just the entrance here. You can see they are forcing their way into this police station. The manpower, yeah, very low. Earlier on, we saw Wafer Bangura, deputy minister, and these are some of the issues that we raised to him. And the manpower here was very low. So you see another fight for this side. Another fight for this side. You. You see that he's out of here. I'm with a, I'm not from the country. I'm with a camera, camera, I'm with a camera, camera, I'm with a camera. So there are lots of fight here. They started from the time this land was born. Earlier on, we had other individuals who were here happy. The Labrador National Police in the entire process. But it's a situation that is getting out of control. Hundreds and hundreds of people are here. It seems as though when the police finally decided to sell the rice, these people who were already here enlightened other people in those communities. And obviously, they had to run here to get just a bag of rice. Because the police have said that they will not sell the rice 
that they would have said two bags of rice to a single individual, that's one to one person. So hundreds of people have come here. And for information we gather the rice is less than 600 bags of rice in there. So as you can see, the people are here, there are almost a thousand people here, estimate, uh, approximately. So it's a serious, serious issue. Folks, this is an issue. Let me just get out of here. And so the door has been shut. The police shut the door. And it seems that they've ended this entire process of selling the rice. But there are still more rice in there that they could sell. But because of the disgruntled nature, disorganized, and disarranged nature of the people, obviously, no mercy. The police, the Labrador National Police has shut the door. And uh, these people are here. Uh, tension may just be right here. There will be a serious tension here for what we see. We gotta know these people who want the rest. And if they cannot get the rest, there may be a serious situation here. Keep following Spoon TV. We are bringing you this happening live from Peace City. As a matter of fact, the two trucks that came here, one was arrested around the Joseph Bay end, while the other was around the Packer Peak. The one that came on the Packer Peak end had Majority of the rice in there was pro pro rice. Pro pro rice. The rice brought into the country by the government to sell at an affordable price. That rice was being shipped to God knows where. And then we had another rice, or Bella or whatsoever, was being shipped to Ganta according to the information, and it was caught around Johnson Bay. We were arrested and brought here. And so the rice is being sold to the people, but the police was overwhelmed. The door has been opened again. Look there. The door has been opened again. They have reopened the door. Look there. So folks, this tension is very, 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 very serious, very, very serious, yeah. So the line continues all the way here. As you can see, there's the line. Hundreds of people queuing here. Queuing for the rice. They just cannot get.
All right, so um, there are some folks here who are, are claiming to be uh, the owners of this rice that has been sold. According to them, they bought the rice. They are showing us invoices to it. And of course, let's speak to a lady right here. Uh, let's speak to a lady right, right, right here who is claiming to be one of those uh, who own the rice. Okay, ma'am, this is Spoon TV. Welcome to Spoon TV. Uh, uh, just tell us your name, ma'am, please. Okay, ma'am. Uh, uh, you, uh, you, are, you are claiming to be the, uh, one of the owners of this rice that has been sold. What actually happened? So it was not in agreement with you? Uh, you go own the rice? Uh, uh, you know, have your friends or your police who were out the rest, have they told you that the police agreed before with, with them for setting the rest? No. What's the price you intended to sell the rice? For me, that rest, I was not going to sell. One, I got another person that is in Bangla. I got my farm farm in Bangla. I got people working there. So I decided to sell 20. They're 25. My brothers and sisters, they are in the city of my estate. I started to get a five. I gave 15 to my big house and they got a little bit of my house. So there were two. There is no way that I would go back to get. I so, two good weeks before I get that. So I decided not to go anymore. So there, there were two trucks that were brought here. Which of the trucks? The first one, the second one, because the second rest uh, that came in, it, it, it did not contain the proper rest, except for the first one, we have proper rest. Which about rest you, you bought from the from the place that you bought the rice? Okay, that was the second truck that came in. Yeah, that was the second truck that came in. And, and, and so you said you were how many persons? Five persons. So now that the, 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 the police, you know, is selling the rice, will you maybe request the money from them or you want the rice? So what will you do now if, if you don't get the rest? There are some people who believe that you are amongst people who are hoarding this rice, keeping the rice when people are looking for you all around. You have a store? What do you sell in the store? You don't sell rice? Where do you say? Where do you say? Where do you have your shop? So the rest was heading to where? Because according to the document, one of one of the journalists who were there, he said the rest was heading to Kanta City. Actually, is it? For me, that 
that guy I see, my boy is going so clear. So I don't know whether another person there is going to answer. There's no possession. What the guy is, what he put on the truck. All the trucks are there, people put their goods there, and then you're looking for place, they will not see the restaurant. And I'm only so clear. I left there. I left there, they're annoying, and when I left. Man is to get my invoice and I give it to the driver, this is my rest. You put it there. Why don't you put Ganta? Why don't you put Sunny for it? It is my book that I'm here about, which is 45 years. So now I can see that you are disappointed. What do you think needs to be done? The only solution is for me to receive my rest. That's all I need. Mean. God, I'm feeling it. How large is how large is your household? How many persons are you talking about? You talking about family? How many persons? He probably goes so there and say, I don't have breast. He fell on me and say, I don't have breast. If I had breast, I would break it. He, he's a baby testimony. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. If you go there, you will see a very big bus. Everyone is there. If you come up, you will see a very big bus. So the, the bottom line here is that you are not buying the rest to go and sell. How much did you buy the, the rice at the, at the place where you got it from, from the port? How much did you buy a bag of rice? The police is selling the rice for $2,250. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm not, I will not in the mood to sell rice. You need a rest. You sell the rest now. You don't have rest to give you to get to my family. So I will go back and start getting beyond people to buy rest but I come to get to them. That's my point. I don't have the strength to go and spend another two weeks to get only 20 bags. That's the logic in the material. Okay, you, you. And you can see the number of people that can be there. Indeed. So you been at that place. Uh, did, you, did, you, did you have the opportunity to enter? If so, did you see a very huge part of rest where you bought the rest from? Yeah, where you bought the rest from is because there are people who say rest is in the country or people who are there in those warehouses. Okay. okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So, uh, there you have it. That's uh, one of the persons who own the rest, especially the, the second truck that came in. And so, uh, there she claiming that uh, her rest was not for sale. She, she bought the rice to go and, uh, uh, you know, uh, share it on family members about about 40 plus bags. About 40 bags of rice. So we, we are still here and uh, the rest situation in Pinsville City, around Zumfa Police Station, is getting tough. Whether the number of people outside here of the police station, whether they will be served tonight, it's just un unbelievable. The crowd, the number of people, it's uh, some gone home, they have. Uh, Occupy the police station, all over the police station, all around the police station, all over. Now to the back of the police station, to the back of the police station. We are here at the back of the police station. Liberians peeping through windows, sending them back, sending them back. You know what it broadcast. Some of the people fainting for red, they know. What kind of government? Oh, no, what the? People are getting suffocated for the rights. They're getting suffocated for the 
the rice. My brother, we in Miami. This is Miami. Miami. Why people should be fitting? my brother. Fitting for what? I know I'm on a hell. How long you been here to get a bag of rice? Have you got it so? Nothing, not at all. As you can see, see I'm here. Why are we going to go here? So what can you go home and come tomorrow? I want rest. I'm having to go home. I need rest. Why are you ready to go? 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 I want rest. I want rest. I want rest. I want rest. Listen, come on. I've been waiting back on tape. Wait a second. Yeah, People so, the so, 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 So the situation uh, continues to escalate. So this, so uh, we we've been out here getting the view of like viewers who have come to just get a bag of rice. So the right situation is is getting high for the people of Liberia. The darkness has fallen, and uh, the. And uh, they are trying to just get by a rice. Okay. We hope to talk to an employee of the Ministry of Information here with us he has come to uh, see the situation here good evening and and welcome i guess you have to do make an official introduction so the people of liberia can see Situation. I'm not 
of taking our people who get arrested from South and this is the first type of starting. And we are all agreeing to see people drinking in the manner of our country. We all wish it being on the president, we all wish it being on the government, we all wish it being on the government. And you all need to do the right thing. And then why are you keeping red and trying to escalate the press? It's wrong, it's bad. But don't you think there's a shortage? That's why people, you know, escalating the press, well, increasing the press. I don't know about it. Every time after every two, three months, you see people saying we're shopping, we're shopping, we're shopping. They got the first time, they got the second time, they got the third time. They got nothing. The government need to take it drastic. All these people who have been in the kind of bar, they have to face it up. It's bad because you got more two chunk of red. Why are you escalating the press? Why are you setting red above the press? It's wrong. It's wrong for our people. And I, I want to say, send a cut here to the individual to the police that those guys who escalate the press and do the red or the rest of today, and they should be prosecuted. It's wrong. You can have red in your store and try to sell red or see by and the fact that you for five thousand dollars, six thousand dollars. What will profit you? Yeah, everybody had to start up checking for red. Do they do that? No, but they think it's for our country. Are you getting me? People, why are people down the police station selling red? It's wrong. People have to stop that. It's not good for our society. And then every day put me in the press and every day put me in the government. But we make the government, we make the press, we make everything. We are a typical of doing the patriotic. We should do things. You know, we are all Christian Muslim. Are you getting me? We should have love for one another. Why would you go in your storeroom and in your shop and try to escalate the press? It's wrong. I don't think it's correct. So we have to stop what we're doing. And I want to say this for the government. The government should be drastic on people who are trying to damage this country. We're trying to damage the image of this country. We understand that at times, we will be shocking, Gaza will be shocking. But the way people are doing it now, it's bad. It's bad. I mean, yeah, the boy went for like 3,500 and last Saturday, he ran that. Are you getting me? The red were buying the 2008, 2007. A boy for 2,500 last Saturday. It's wrong. It's wrong. You check the red in the country, but people trying to. Where they took the two chocolate rest today and trying to uh, increase the press? Where did you get the two chocolate rest from? So they brought the two chocolate rest and he arrested it. It's wrong. It's wrong. That's a bad thing. You have to stop this. Okay. All right, Yanfa, thank you for talking to us. Why have you observed so far before we leave you since we arrived on the scene? Well, I came to observe and I saw, I just feeling for our women and our mothers, women, you know, the land, you know, trying to get a single bag of red. I really feel for them. They're getting me a travel with the NSA, standing for all the girls, because she's a whole lady. You know, she came to walk with me, and they're trying to help me. They cried out while they're out, I can't make it so hard to do it. Yeah, it's not, it's not a small thing. So I believe that the rest are in the police station. There are many rest in the police station right now. So people should stay in the line. The other night said they will be sad and it will be okay for everybody. I believe by the grace of God, before Friday this week, everything will be okay. Okay. Yeah, thank, thank, you thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, Yemfo is an employee of the Polo Affairs Department of the Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs and Tourism. And he's also has arrived on this scene to see what's happening in here on on the scene of this rice rush lines still here very long and uh, the situation whether or not to get out of control or what uh, whether where they need rice and they're crying for rice. The line, the queue is still long. And this is a Spoon TV. We are still here live coming to you from Pinzo Joba. We hope to uh, take this break uh, very important to readjust. And so we can we say thank you so much for those who join, those who who watch, those who share. My name is Strokon Flama. I've been here with my colleague Aaron Kuban, and we have been bringing you up to date about what's happening currently in the country, about this right situation, and all of that. Uh, so, thank you for being there. We're going to take this break and readjust ourselves to see whether we can come back.